Hey everyone, today is my day in the life with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So the first thing I do in the morning is freshen up. I usually do bring my smartphone with me. While I brush my teeth, I just check through notifications and I usually check social media as well. My go-to is pretty much Instagram. Then it's time to hit the shower. So I always shower in the morning, normally with cold water, just to kind of freshen me up and wake me up because I'm pretty groggy most mornings. A few people ask me what I do with my hair, so I usually just towel dry it, then I blow dry it, and then I put in my product. Kind of like it messy, so I tend to scrunch it up a bit and then finish it off with some hairspray. I know it's not completely healthy, but I don't always do this, normally just when I'm on camera. Then I go ahead and just neaten up my room, tidy my bed up, and I find this really helps just get that one tedious task out of the way, and once you've done this, you can just progress with your day. Depending on the day and how busy I am, I might skip breakfast, but today it's a weekend and I'm gonna have some Greek yogurt, nice and healthy. So first thing in the morning, I got yogurt on my shirt already, already making a mess, but yeah, went ahead, poured out some low fat Greek yogurt, topped it off with some granola, and I also slipped in some maple syrup. I know it's not the healthiest thing, but it just adds a tiny bit of flavor. On my home screen, I have a widget for helping me track packages, but then I went ahead and put on a podcast while I eat my breakfast. I like to listen to Joe Rogan a lot, and recently I've been into the whole UFO thing with Bob Lazar. UFOs are definitely real, by the way. So, <laughs> yeah, but then I poured myself some mango smoothie. The stuff is just really nice. It's from Naked, the smoothie brand. And then I went ahead and just scrolled through YouTube Studio, checked my analytics, and also checked my emails. This is super important to me. A lot of companies I work with are international, and so they email me throughout the night. So first thing in the morning, I usually go ahead and reply to those emails and look through them, see any new products people wanna to offer to send me, and yeah, just accept the ones that are pretty cool. I'm not a massive fan of coffee, but I do like the boost it gives me, so I went ahead and made a mocha. I have this really cool hotel chocolate velvetizer, and I really love this Lindt hot chocolate powder. Really, it's just the perfect hot chocolate. So now is my least favorite part of the day and it's going into my studio space and just clearing the heck out of it. I recently picked up this new Amaran 100D light with a lantern dome softbox. Really loving this thing. I love the way it distributes the light. Usually when I'm filming things and also unboxing products, things just kind of accumulate and build up on my desktop. So I just went ahead and cleared all this away. Nice and tidy, and I must say, I really am liking this new desk setup. This is a flexi spot desk, and it did take me a while to build. It did come in the mail sent by flexi spot. I'm doing a video on it fairly soon, so if you want to check that out, definitely do subscribe. But no, this is an awesome desk. It's a height adjustable desk, it's got motors inside of it. You can even go ahead and set preset heights. So, whatever height is comfortable for your sitting position or standing position, you can just program that in. Something I often keep on my desk is my Pixel 7a. So I don't always use the iPhone like 100% of the time, but I'd say about 95% of the time, I definitely am on the iPhone. Considering my phone is on camera a lot, I do like to clean between the camera modules. So I use an air duster just to get rid of all the dust particles and then a microfiber and also cleaning out the USB-C port and the case is pretty much a must. Right now, the case I'm rocking is from Mafigno. This thing is super premium in the hand. I'll leave all the links down below in case you want to pick it up. So now it is 12.06 PM. I've got 94% battery and I just went ahead and just checked out some posts on X just to see what people were talking about. There's usually some controversy when it comes to tech. So then I went ahead and received a new desk mat sent out to me from Journey. So this is the Alti desk mat with a built-in wireless charging panel at the side. So really premium packaging. Inside you get this nice desk mat. It's like a medium size, so not crazy big. And then you have this panel which magnetically attaches onto either side of the desk mat. So you can have it on the left or the right. I just cabled it into my desk, which was kind of a pain, not gonna lie but it's gonna be super convenient just being able to charge up my AirPods as well as my phone while I'm working at my desk. 
I will be making a full dedicated video on various journey accessories, including this desk mat, but I really love this thing. It looks really sleek and the magnets are mad strong. Like when you put your phone on this thing, it's definitely not gonna knock off. I also recently received this keyboard from Aiko, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it and also post a video on this relatively soon, but this is so far a great mechanical keyboard. So right now this is just standard footage 4K30 on the main sensor of the iPhone. And now this is the wide angle. So pretty smooth transitions. A lot of people comment on just how smooth transitions are. It's not perfect, but I think it's a lot better than many other Android devices. They're a lot more jittery when they zoom in and out. But uh, yeah, wide angle, there's not much difference in terms of improvements from last year. The main difference you're gonna notice when you are videoing is when you're recording in log. So let me show you that. So now this is completely recorded in log and I've graded it in Final Cut Pro. So this is the wide angle in log. This is the main sensor in log. Something nice is unlike C-Log3, you don't have to overexpose for when you go ahead and color grade it, it actually retains the detail and doesn't get too noisy uh, pretty well. So uh, yeah, that's a bonus for the iPhone. After taking the videos, I then airdropped the files over to my Mac mini. These did take a little bit longer because they are ProRes files, but airdrop's just so useful. I just love that ecosystem. Then I decided to transfer some videos over from my camera SD card onto my Mac mini just so I could unload some footage and I'm about to go out. So I just wanted to have a free SD card. So off we go. So many of you know I recently moved from Scotland down to the Lake District. I'm just trying to work out where I am right now in life and what I want to do. Honestly, I kind of want to go to Canada and do something a little bit different. But right now, I'm staying somewhere beautiful in England and the scenery is just stunning. So now here's the 5x telephoto lens for video. Honestly, it's actually pretty stable and I don't have the action mode on right now. So now it is 1.16 p.m. I've got 86% battery and I just went ahead and checked up on some upcoming sponsorships I've got with Epidemic Sound. So right now I'm just in a church inside Kirby Lonsdale and this is kind of perfect for testing out the low light performance on the 15 Pro Max because it's fairly low light in here. I mean it's a pretty cloudy day so yeah but I've never really like done a camera test or day in the life in a church before but uh yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not like huge, but it looks really nice in here. And yeah, I guess this is some low light test with the wide angle lens. And here's the five times zoom in low light. So I really feel like the animation is so smooth, so buttery when switching between lenses. Then I just went around and tested out the zoom camera. So I really am focusing on that five times zoom because I mean, it's kind of a big deal in the smartphone world now that the iPhone has it because a lot of other devices have had it for a while. So right now it's 2.12 p.m. I've got 76% battery life. And if you're curious about why my screen looks all colorful, it's just my ND filter. The iPhone doesn't look like that. But yeah, I just went around took a bunch of pictures today, so many pictures, because I just wanted to try out the camera for myself as well as to show you guys how it performs, but so far I am really loving it. So as you can see, this town is super ancient. It looks like I've kind of stepped back in time and brought the iPhone with me, but definitely not the best day to be doing a camera test. It's, it's been super cloudy and rainy recently, I've never been to this town before, but I did spot this store that sells kind of like military gear as well as like pocket knives and air rifles and some of the stuff in here is genuinely super cool. I'm really into guns. I used to play a lot of Call of Duty and I used to have a bunch of airsoft guns. So it really has like an American gun store vibe in here, which I really like. I think it's pretty cool. So now I went into this chocolate store that custom make all the chocolates in the store and downstairs is the coolest thing I guarantee you've ever seen in any chocolate store. So no, it's not Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but 
there's a mine underneath the store, which is pretty cool and unnecessary. And down here, you have these small, like, elf type creatures, and they kind of make out and pretend that the elves mine the chocolate. But overall, this was a great spot to try out the low light performance of the main sensor and also that five times telephoto because you have f2.8, which is a much wider aperture than many other smartphones with a telephoto. Not gonna lie, this is the craziest store I've ever been in. I've never seen a store with a basement mine before. So it's kind of crazy. Wow. This store has some crazy flavors of chocolate. This one here is maple bacon pancake flavored chocolate. They also have some of the small bags of mined chocolate, which again are meant to have come from the elves below. I am a huge fan of grape soda, but a lot of them in the UK just suck. So as soon as I saw there was an American soda in one of the stores, I just had to buy it. So right now I'm at this place called Devil's Bridge and I'm just setting up my drone. So I have the DJI Air 2S paired with some ND filters and you can get some insane shots from this drone. Just take a look. It's a well-known fact that the iPhone is just great at video quality, especially compared to a lot of other phones, it does excel in the video department. But with this new 5x sensor, this is one of the best zoom video smartphone cameras I've ever seen. This is just a quick selfie on the front camera so you can kind of see the dynamic range and the quality you're going to get when you are taking selfies. So then pretty much the rest of the day I just walked around and took a bunch more pictures. Can you believe it? I didn't even include all the pictures I took. And then, uh, yeah, just some video of going down some alleyways and things around Kirby Lonsdale. And then I went to this really awesome bar. So I watched this show called Virgin River on Netflix. And this place kind of reminded me of Jack's Bar. So this bar actually brew their own beer, which is pretty cool. And you can get this kind of tray with three different types in to try. Here's just a picture I took with portrait mode on the iPhone. And then here's a low light shot of just the whole bar. Now I'm not a huge fan of beer, so I did try the mango cider. There was also a blueberry one, but mango cider just sounded a bit different to me. So I wanted to try it out and I really liked it. So it is now 4.19 PM. I've got 53% battery life and I've currently been editing some pictures that I took in raw in Lightroom. So these are all raw photos from the iPhone. And let me just show you the before and after. So before is on the left and after is on the right. So this is really powerful stuff. What you can do with just a smartphone in your pocket. So I've had a pretty good day so far, taken some nice pictures and look, after I've taken all the pictures, it's now actually looking good. It's sunny, golden hour, but today's video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. So let's talk about that. So all the music, all the sound effects in this video are from Epidemic Sound, and that's because they offer license-free music, so you can use it on all your social channels, on your YouTube, your website, and you won't get any copyright strike whatsoever. I'm actually an ambassador for Epidemic Sound, so if you refer 12 people to sign up, you'll become an ambassador, and then you get offered payouts for doing mid-roll segments, like this one right here, so they'll pay you a lump sum, as well as a percentage for each person that signs up for Epidemic Sound. So if you're a content creator and you wanna make some money, some revenue on you know, your website or your YouTube channel, then go ahead, use referral links, become an ambassador for Epidemic Sound, and you can make some money, as well as get some copyright-free songs for your videos. So you won't get any copyright strike. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave all the links down below. So it is now 5.29 p.m. I've got 31% battery life and I just took out some steaks and seasoned them and then headed outside. So the steaks are just airing, not gonna cook those just yet. Now I'm actually gonna go outside in the backyard and just take some pictures so we can kind of see how the low light performance is. So I'm gonna switch over from my Canon R6 to the iPhone 
and uh, you'll actually see how the low light video is. So right now, this is the wide angle camera in low light, 4K 30 on the new iPhone. And yeah, I would say it's definitely noisy as you can see, but kind of looks similar to last year, honestly. I wouldn't say it's like better, it's just about the same. Now let's switch to the main where I think you might see a little bit of a difference. So now this is the main camera. And as you can see, there's a lot of artifacts from these lights behind me. That's exactly why I turned them on. With the lenses on the iPhone, they haven't fixed the problem of, you know, lens flares and artifacts. And if you're filming like a car driving down the road, you're gonna see like duplicate lights from just the lenses. So that's kind of annoying that it's not fixed, but in terms of noise in low light video, I would say it's pretty good. This is at 4K 30 and there's very little noise. Honestly, like for a smartphone camera with a small sensor, the iPhone is still like the king of video. Something else that's definitely improved is the audio. I'm standing about one meter away from the iPhone and you can probably tell it's really clear. The clarity on the audio is great. I found in the past iPhones tend to have, you know, some muffling. The audio is not the clearest in the world, but this one, it sounds super, super clear, even if I get further away. So whatever Apple's done, it's working really, really good. A really neat feature with the new iOS is you can now airdrop away from your devices. So I'm airdropping all the videos, all the pictures from today to my Mac mini. I've come outside now. I am definitely without range of uh, airdrop and it's still airdropping. So as you can see, hopefully the brightness isn't too bright, but it's still airdropping up at the top there. So you can go ahead and airdrop from anywhere as long as you have an internet connection. So then I just went around my backyard and took some pictures and I actually compared it with my Pixel 7a because I love that thing. And here are just side by side. I feel like the Pixel actually did a really good job and it's pretty comparable. And this phone is probably like three times cheaper than the 15 Pro Max. You can really see the iPhone has improved low light in even darker situations. So this was really dark, like hard to see with my own eyes. And you can see, thanks to the bigger sensor on the iPhone, you're able to get brighter, higher quality images with less exposure time. So after a long hard day, there's nothing better than just getting in a hot tub, especially when it's cold outside and you just get into that nice warm water, but you can see the stars, you can see your breath in the air. I love this thing so much. Wow, that's hot, man. Well, it's only 37. Yeah, I, I know, but it feels, it feels warm compared to the cold outside. Woo. So guys, I'm feeling pretty tired. It's been a quite a long day. It's now 9.18 p.m. and I have 5% battery life left. So almost 12 hours, which is pretty decent. I usually would have charged my phone throughout the day a little bit, just because like my car mount, the MagSafe one has charging. So naturally when I get in the car, put it on that mount, it's gonna charge. And same goes for my desk mat. So when I put my phone down on my desk, I naturally now wanna Put it down on the charger. I actively tried to avoid that just so I could see purely how much I could push the battery. Um, so let me just go check my screen on time in the settings. So screen on time for today was six hours and 20 minutes, which is pretty good. So uh, I feel like normally I would definitely get more than that. I've checked before and gotten like eight hours or so but I feel like because I was taking a lot of videos for this video on the phone, it ended up draining a little bit more. I just feel like I pushed it a little bit more than I usually would, but still great considering I got up at 9.30 today and it's now almost 9.30 at night and it's still working without charging it at all throughout the day. So I would say that's a complete win. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with battery life. In terms of the heating issue, it did get a little bit toasty when I was editing some pictures and it was like 30% battery earlier on but it wasn't too warm. And every time I actually push the phone to the max, like playing games, it doesn't get warm. It's only those like minor tasks 
where it does tend to get warm so i don't really know it's probably some sort of bug i think apple were meant to fix it in a in an update and maybe they did fix it a bit but it's still getting a little bit toasty uh when editing pictures in lightroom but hopefully you enjoyed the video i will be doing more videos especially covering like this desk mat and the keyboard and all that there's a lot of videos I gotta make. Like I have a whole schedule of videos th that I've planned. So if you wanna see those, stick around, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, and just leave your thoughts. I'm super curious. What do you guys think about the new iPhone? Would you pick it up? Are you gonna pick up last year's for cheaper? Or are you gonna go team Android? Let me know, I'm super curious. I will see you guys later, peace.